<laughs> hey, CWGT or Chris White, Google training. Um, my lighting's not quite right, but I, I really want to put a video out today. Uh, I'm going to be presenting in Wisconsin this weekend, so I wanted to make sure I got my Friday video out. Um, as you can see, I'm setting up a new studio, some new colors. I'm trying different paints and stuff in the background. I think I'm going with this one. That one's a little funky color that didn't work out quite as well. Um, and I will get the lighting and the shadows and things fixed out in the very near future. But uh, for today, um, if you use a Macintosh and you uh, use Google Chrome, um, you might have gone into the application uh, monitor menu and noticed there's something called Google Chrome Helper. Let's find out how helpful it is and see what to do about it. Hey, so um, a lot of this stuff I actually got from an article in Wired, and if you searched this Google Chrome Helper, you probably um, have that article in here as well, but I'll link it down below, down here as well, so you can uh, read that article yourself, but I'll sort of s give you a synopsis and sort of tell you how it goes. So let's take a look. So we're going to go into Activity Monitor. You can either go into Spotlight, you can hit your uh, Command Shift key and search for it in the upper right there. If you're on uh, the new version of Mac, it comes up differently. So I'm looking up Activity Monitor. There it is. And there is the infamous Google Chrome Helper. And you see it over and over again right now. My Camtasia is taking over the space. But you see it in here a bunch of times. And if you're concerned about that, there's a way to get it off of there. And you'll have to opt in some things. But uh, I'll show you how that works and talk about that in a second. That was odd. Um, anyway, so you're going to shut down all your Chrome. Oh, that was nice. Rubbing my nose. I forgot the camera was on. Um, you're going to shut down all the Chrome windows, um, but leave Chrome on. So I just close Chrome accidentally and open it back up, close the window. Chrome's still on here. I'm going to go to Preferences. After Preferences, I'm going to go to Show Advanced Settings down here in Privacy. And you're going to go down to Content Settings, which is right here. Then we're going to look at the Plugins here and it says detect and run important plugin content uh, recommended um, run all plugin content so if you have that that's probably why a lot of it's playing uh, or that Google help Google Chrome helper is on um, and the other one you can pick is let me choose when to run the plugin content so that the equivalent would be like if you have your email set to not display images and there's a little button that says display and you can turn them on. Same thing will happen here with flash content is basically how I understand it. Um, I haven't run into a problem with memory on my computer or the CPU usage um, where it's slowing things down. So I'm going to leave this on this, but that's how you do it. Um, hopefully that helps. Um, and let's go to cut screen. So that's Google Chrome Helper. Um, if you like this video and it helped you out, please tell two people about it. Um, hit that subscribe button down there. Uh, I really appreciate it. Please give me feedback. Let me know what I can do better. Give me ideas. I'm, I'm always looking for ideas that uh, will help you. I want to help you learn all the things Google and I learn in the process. So it's really cool. Um, I'm a lifelong learner, so I love doing that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, till next time. Do, 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 do. Is it still recording? I don't know how to turn this off. Ah, help me, help me. Crap, is it still going? I don't know if it's still going or not. What's this thing? Stop recording. So it looks like Google Chrome Help Center. Let's just stop this. This, this is dumb. Stop. Boom.